This video will demonstrate how we can use our beat tracking technology to control the tempo of Ableton Live, allowing us to automatically synchronize audio samples with live performances. This means that we can play back pre-recorded audio material in live performances and have it stay in time with a live band or a drummer or a guitarist, even if they aren't playing to a click. Okay, so you'll note that I've got the Live Sync Max MSP patch open in Max and the QM Live Sync project file open in Ableton Live. Both the patch and the project file came bundled as part of the QM Live Music Lab download. Uh, we've set them up to talk to one another, uh, but we need to first check some settings. So let's go to Live, Preferences, and then to the MIDI Sync tab. Just check that the input from Max MSP1 row is set to on for track, sync, and remote, and that the output to Max MSP1 row is set to on for track, sync, and remote also. If you're using Max MSP Runtime, these might say Max MSP Runtime 1. Back in the uh, main Ableton window, uh, just check on the second MIDI channel that the MIDI 2 drop down menu is set to 2 Max MSP 1. Uh, or or um, if you're using Max MSP Runtime, it might be 2 Max MSP Runtime 1. Okay. In the Max patch, I have this Start Live button here. And this, uh, if everything's working correctly, should start Ableton Live playing. Uh, and we should see the transport numbers moving here you can see uh, now that the transport numbers have started moving and that we've actually got Ableton Live's click coming back here so that, so that the two are communicating properly. So with everything working correctly, I'm going to drag an audio sample into Ableton Live and put it on this audio track here. I'm going to turn it up a bit because it can be a bit quiet. Um, it's a synth loop and it sounds a bit like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an acoustic guitar as an input and that's going to come in and be tracked by our beat tracker here. The beat tracker is going to find the beats and it's going to tell Ableton Live where the beats are. Ableton Live will then adjust its tempo and make sure that the audio sample that I just played you stays in time with my playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to a live input. I'm going to choose input source 1 because that's where my guitar is coming from and I'm going to turn the audio on you'll now see that the beat tracker is tracking the, is trying to track beats. Now I'm going to start live and that will start playing the audio sample and then I will start playing the guitar. It might take five or six seconds for the beat tracker to get the correct beat. So I hope you could hear it uh, changing the tempo of the audio sample as I slowed down. Um, so they have it. So you could easily do this with drums or piano or anything else you wanted to control live's tempo. Good luck.